everybody. New episode of PTL's Garage, and what we're gonna do today, we're gonna Kerma tune the Mark VI uh, Jetta Wagon with the Q Pro here. And this is a very, very simple process. So let's get to work, because as always, this is Pinchy House Garage, and we know what we do here. We're going to break, fix, and repeat. This is the uh, Q Pro, and you'll see here, guys, that right now it's currently uh, doing its updates. Um, so make sure you, when you get the email from Kerma TDI about the instructions and how to do this, follow them. They're very straightforward. Once you do that, you're going to get over here, and you're going to see this. Uh, plug the pretty much the Q Pro into your PC, and it's going to do the update on there. Um, then it's going to do a couple other things as it goes. Uh, pretty much it's just going to make sure that the, the Q Pro is fully updated before you actually flash your car or pull the software off your car. Once that is done, then we're going to go to the actual car and we're going to copy the, uh, the default or the baseline uh, ECU off the car and then go from there. We'll show you guys what to do next. So we are inside the uh, wagon. And you'll see here, here's my Q Pro. And we're going to pull the baseline file or the stock file from the car. And to do so, your OBD2 port's down here below. Plug in your, your Q Pro. Make sure the key is in the off position at the moment. Plug it in and then put the car in the on position, making sure the car is not running, just on. All right? And we'll show you what to do next. So once you plug it in, obviously there's going to be power. We're going to put the car in the on position, like I said earlier. And you guys are going to see this. We're going to click on tuning. We have the key in the on position confirmed. So stock file, so we're going to want to read the ECU. Now it's making a copy of the actual baseline file off the car. We're going to hit OK. Now you're going to turn the car off. And then you're going to go and copy that file and email it to Kerma TDI. And we'll show you how to do that super quick. So you guys can see here, I plugged it back into the computer. And now we're over here. Now it's searching for the file and the updates on the device. Once this is done, there's a button to download your data. You'll see that there. You're gonna download the data, and then you're gonna use that to email it to um, Kerma TDI so they can pretty much give you the new tune and go from there. So we'll show you what to do when the download is ready. So you guys can see here I clicked on download data and see right here it says click to start to download to save the file. So we're gonna hit start. And now it made me a file. We're gonna save it to the desktop. It'll be quick. And then I'm just going to put my uh, MK, make it a file, MK6 stock file. I'm going to save it to the desktop. 
and there it is. It's saved on there. And then that file, you're going to email it to Kerma TDI. And that's pretty much it. Wait till the file comes back. And then you're going to upload it back onto the device. And you're going to use that file to um, flash your, your, your Mark 6. And we'll show you how to do that when that file comes back. So see you guys in a couple days. Peace out. Good morning, everyone. Pinchy Al here. Early in the morning. I just got the email from Kerma TDI. So... What we're gonna do, where is it? Um, okay, here it is. So we're gonna plug in our uh, Q, uh, Q Pro Plus. We're gonna go to the desktop here. We're gonna open up the Q Pro console. All right, it's connecting to the device. While it's doing that, I'm going to download the email, the attachment for the new file. So give me just a second and I'll show you guys what to do next. So now that we're on here, We'll see, uh, we have the new file right there. Now that it's done updating and doing everything else, on the left hand side there's a button called Upload Data. It's going to ask you to browse and look for the file. The name of the file that we got is called Modified and Ready. So, we have to look for that. There it is. Confirm the upload, so we're agreeing to that. Now it's uh, going to put the latest file on here. After that, we're going to go to the car. And we'll show you guys what to do next. So we are back and we plug this into the car. The Q Pro Plus with the new file on it. Now, you're going to put the car in the on position. Remember that guys, okay? We're not trying to turn the car on. Just you got to leave it in the on position. Make sure all your lights and everything are turned off because this does take 10 to 15 minutes. So we're going to go to tuning. We're looking for the file. We're going to hit yes because that's what we're going to do. And then we have the original stock and then we have modified. Okay. I guess you have to put the arrow to the right. So you gotta click on the right arrow. So it's gonna take a while. Once this is done, you're gonna have to wait and then come back after it's done. Now, as a recommendation from uh, Kale and um, Chris from Kerma, they did state that make sure you have a good battery in the car. Um, Make sure that the battery is either new or you have something to top off the battery, okay? Uh, so, because it's right now, it's pretty much going to take a while because it's erasing the, the the factory stuff and then it's going to go with the aftermarket stuff. Again, guys, just do it and walk away and come back in a little bit. Uh, this does take a while. It's not a fast process. Um, your car is going to do some weird stuff, so... Be patient and do not mess with anything in the car. Key off. Okay, so it says key off and confirm. Key on and then confirm. Now my car is doing some weird stuff. It's kicking on the fans and a bunch of other stuff because it doesn't know what to do. Remember that again, guys. It's uh, you got to make sure you have everything set right.
and you have a good battery. If not, you're going to have problems. I'll be back once this is done. So, we are officially tuned by Kerma TDI, and now I want to go give this guy a drive. So, I got to wait till they move the van behind me so I can uh, give this car a whirl around town because I want to know what this feels like to have some Kerma power. So, stay tuned for some more updates, guys. But again, that's pretty much how you tune your. Uh, your Mark 6 uh, Jetta wagon through Kerma TDI with their awesome yep, <laughs> Q Pro so, uh, Q Pro Plus uh, handheld. I love this thing. It's stupid easy um, to tune your car. I mean, I legitimately took me from beginning to end one entire day because you have to wait for the software to be uh, to come from uh, from Kerma. Uh, Charlie um, got back to me super quick, so I'm super excited. Uh, thanks again Kerma TDI, wait for the awesome intro we're going to make for you guys for this DIY on how to tune your car with Kerma TDI. Peace out everyone. Whoa! Thanks again for watching because it's Pinchial's Garage and we're always going to break, fix, and repeat.